What is your greatest weakness? Number one, do not get nervous when you hear the word greatest. Again, it can be any weakness at all, but we're gonna pick a strategic one. Number one, if you're the kind of person who struggles with sharing their strengths, this is probably going to be your best question because you can have that sense of being humble and being open. If you're the kind of person who hates talking about weaknesses, don't worry, I'm gonna show you a strategic way to pick the one that doesn't make you look bad. The trick is, please, please, please do not pick a weakness that's related to the job. For example, if your job or the job that you're interviewing for requires a lot of leading meetings or giving speeches, don't say that your greatest weakness is public speaking. That's going to be a huge red flag and be very problematic and probably keep you from getting the job. You wanna make sure that it's a weakness that is not directly related to the job and here's a real bonus, and something that you're already working on. So whatever you mention is a weakness, have the explanation of how you're improving it. That could be as simple as watching more YouTube videos, taking courses, working with a coach, doing your own work. What this shows is that whatever your weakness is, is not going to be problematic for the company and is not going to cost them money. Let's take a look at some examples of how to package your weaknesses in a way that doesn't hurt you. So for the first one, this one's great if you're a non-native speaker. One of my weaknesses is speaking confidently in English. I'm currently working with an online coach and reading out loud every day to help build my confidence. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice is that it is short and sweet. <laughs> you don't wanna to stay too long on a weakness. And most of this response was dedicated to showing the solution. Look, if you're a non-native speaker, you're already interviewing in English, so they know your English is good enough. We end this with to help build my confidence. So building confidence is not a bad thing. So this is a way that you can turn a weakness into a strength. Example number two, one of my weaknesses is being able to say no to a colleague or client. I've always been a team player and I really like helping people. However, I've had to learn to either make sure I have time to commit to the request before agreeing to help or know when to say I can't and not overcommit. So notice how this, it's highlighting a lot of the positive keywords, team player, right? So we still are using the negative to highlight the positive. Secondly, it doesn't say I still do it. It's saying that I'm working on it and I'm solving it and I'm getting better at time management and I'm making sure that I don't overcommit. So this is exactly what I want you to do.